guys today i decided i was sitting down and do like a little chit chat get rid of me i know i've been mia for a while and i've been working on trying to be consistent and um i thought would not just sit down in front of camera and kind of like talk to you guys while i do my makeup I'm going for like a fox eye look if you are new here welcome my name is Jalen. i do a lot of hair beauty fashion i've been stepping into it and also vlogs i've also been doing we'll see how that's gonna continue to go with these vlogs um, yeah welcome if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe now what are you waiting for girl it's free <laughs> yeah go ahead and subscribe so i'm gonna start off by doing my eyebrows i'm just using this elf brow pencil it's in the shade neutral brown i've been really going for like a natural look I feel like um, now that I'm older, I'm not old, but I'm older now. I'm not in my 20s anymore. <laughs> I feel like um, less makeup looks better on my skin now. I know before I used to pile on so much makeup and I think it had to do it because I suffered from acne. I had acne so bad. And now after I had my son, my skin has cleared up so much my acne i get like breakouts here and there and i broke out from wearing my mask but other than that i'm just working on my acne scars and you know just treating those with some vitamin c i'm just happy that i'm done with acne way until i turn what 33 for all you guys out there who are suffering from acne i feel your pain girl i'd use everything under the sun from proactive went to dermatologists use um, retin-a so much stuff i mean those things worked i feel like proactive didn't work i feel like proactive made my skin worse but girl i seen dermatologists after dermatologists and i really do think it was more of like hormones because when I had my son, I did, you know, during IVF, you do use, you know, a lot of hormones and estrogen and like that. When I was using those estrogen patches, my skin was smooth, so smooth. I feel like the estrogen is what makes your skin so nice and smooth and give you like that pregnancy glow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my brows, guys, because I can't chat while I'm doing my brows. I need to baby concentrate and focus so I can make sure they at least look like sisters. <laughs> just gonna clean up my brow with this LA Girl Pro Concealer and it's in the shade Toffee. Just gonna use this flat brush that I got from e.l.f. Okay, now that I got my brows done, guys, um, yeah, I'm gonna come back to those later and finish those up. I'm also gonna go back in with this same concealer and just go over some of my dark spots just like to conceal this first because I don't like I said I don't like a lot of makeup like I used to I used to pack it on girl but I'm starting to see the less is more yeah so what do y'all guys been up to I have been doing absolutely nothing I've been bored out of my mind um this year has taught me so many life lessons. Oh, I forgot to put my primer on. This is the Elf's Puff Puff Primer, and it has the Hemp Derived Cannabis Sativa. And I just really like to put this like in my T-zone. I like it. it's nice and smooth, and it's not sticky. But yeah, this year has taught me so many, you know, life lessons. Um, as far as like, you know, just being in the moment, sitting still, being patient, and um, truly listening to God too as well. And I'm just gonna take my little beauty blender and, well, this is not a blue band. This is a real technique. Um, 
beauty sponge i really need a new one this is clean i did clean it i actually clean it every time before i use it that way it's nice and damp and clean for me it's just stained really bad so i'm just blending that in i think i'm gonna start on my eyes first actually i do the fox eye it's real easy and simple and i feel like if i do it before i put my foundation on it just looks a whole lot put together because i'm not a makeup guru at all <laughs> so i'm going back in with that concealer i'm just putting like a little bit on my eye just to give me some little base yeah it's been a roller coaster with this year i'm just thankful and happy that all my family is safe um, thank you guys so let's just talk about me trying to be consistent i know i have not been consistent as i would like to be i struggle with trying to be consistent and i have so many great ideas but then it gets to the point where i can't articulate them sometimes I'm going in this tart palette flirt and i'm going to go in this shade right here with this fluffy brush from Real Technique and it's called Hotline. Give my lid a little color, not much. A little something, something. So I'm trying to work on being consistent. I've been struggling with that. Every time when my period come on, I get real bad PMS, guys. I'm just, I don't know, it's not, like you know i'm sick or anything but i feel the you know all that comes with your hormones just crashing and how everything just you know goes and i get real bad pms blues and and sometimes i just sit in my feelings and just just be <laughs> it's horrible i know i'm a pisces and if any of you pisces out there and you guys feel the, do the same, you know, have the same issue when it comes to like PMS. Mm -mm. I just don't wanna be bothered. Hey, leave me alone. So I just blend it in on my eyes. Next, I wanna go in with my, my Wet n Wild pencil. You can't even see none, girl. I had this pencil so long, you can't even see what's on it. But it is the Wet n Wild eyeliner in Coco. Oh, I'm gonna do my little fox eye. So first, I'm just gonna go in like uh, making a uh, wing eye, but I'm gonna bring my my wing up, up like near my eye, like going towards my eyebrow, the tips of my eyebrow. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it the way I talk. I know, I've been mean, keeping saying like, oh, how you pronounce this, how you pronounce this? Girl, everybody don't sound the same. I have an accent. I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, baby. I have a hard time trying to correct my accent. Hey, everybody's not from where you are. Everybody's accents are different. We talk different. That don't necessarily mean the person is ignorant or this and that. Like, that's the thing with people. We need to learn to embrace people's differences. We are all different, but we are all the same in the aspect of trying to do the same things in life. Yeah, I have an accent. Yes, I'm very country. Oh, I pronounce a lot of things different. Hey. That's just the world we live in. We all come from different places and everybody's not gonna talk like you talk. It's just period. <laughs> so just learn to embrace people differences, okay? Moving on. So my eyebrow pencil right here, I'm going to just, you know, wing it out like I'm doing a wing, but um, I'm just gonna blend it instead of using an eyeshadow. I don't wanna use an eyeshadow. I feel like it just simplifies it more. So I kind of go like a triangle right here and kind of darken it up there. And just blend in this spot like that. Then I'll go in with, this is another Real Technique brush. So I like to just use this and just kind of blend that in like that. 
now this is just pretty much a simple look but it gives you a nice look like wow your eyes you know it really it really brings out your eyes that's why i like to do this little look So what have you guys been watching on TV? I know I've been watching a lot of TV and you know, binge watching shows. I just finished binge watching um, Selena series. It was really good guys. That show is good. And I sat there and watched it and cried. I'm such a cry baby when it comes to movies and shows. Big cry baby. I'm going to do the same thing on this side, but it was really good. Another show I can't wait to come on is Snowfall. My husband and I, we binge watched that and it's really good. It's really good, y'all. And the guy that's playing, um, what's his name? Um, Saint, he's from the, he's from, um, the UK. I'm like, good gracious, all these actors um, are from UK that's playing these parts and like he, he's playing his part. I like um, him as an actor. And the guy who plays his friend who played in a lot of uh, other movies too. I wanna go in with some of my bronzer and this is the um, Cover Girls bronzer. Nice transition look. Now that I have that done, I'm going to just go back in and just darken up my line just a little bit like that. Sorry, y'all. I can't talk right now. I'm just going to speed it through. You guys keep watching. I'll be back to talk more. I've been loving using brown eye pencil versus black. I don't know, it just gives that nice softer look. Not so harsh. Going in with this Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer and this is in the shade I Cinnamon. I started doing YouTube as a hobby just to get my mind off of things. I was going through a rough time as far as like, I had my first miscarriage then. And I think the next day I had it, I went to the store and I bought a camera. I was like, hey, I'm getting ready to start doing things that I keep putting off and <laughs> I did it too to just, you know, get my mind off it, give me something else to think about and focus on. So that's why I started doing YouTube, um, just to get my mind off things, you know, I was going through. It really helped too with that because it gave me something to do to be creative also. So I like being able to connect with people. I like that connecting with people who have like the same energy, you know, have that good energy, those good vibes. I enjoy that. Love hearing other people's stories and I love encouraging other people and I love having people encourage me. So that's the good thing I see that's in social media more than just, you know, negative things. There's so much positivity in it. Being able to connect with people is such a beautiful thing. People all around the world that you'll never uh, possibly even meet, but you can be right there in their home and talk to them, vice versa from comments and things like that, hearing people's story. I just love it. So next, I'm using Matte Poreless Foundation in the shade 355, which is coconut. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's gotten so cold, y'all. I'm the type of person that I don't like the cold. I like fall and spring and summer. But when it start to get like in the 40s, baby, I'm like a, a bear. I need to hibernate. <laughs> I hibernate. I don't want to be out in the cold and then also it gets darker early. Um, just over this time change too. With another concealer, which is also Elf, and I'm going to use Deep Chestnut. And I'm using this to highlight under my eyes, not too much. And then I like to highlight around my mouth. Good 
because I got darkness right there. And then just a little bit right here. I'm blending that out. I blend this first. Because I don't want to look like a lion. Although I'm wearing some leopard print. <laughs> yeah, and I've been enjoying all you guys' feedback that I got from my um, my IVF story. I love to hear that some of you ladies are pregnant, are expecting babies. Oh, that just, just warms my heart to know um, you guys' prayers are being answered. I do want to do an update video, you know, just to go more in depth and tell more about, um, you know, my story or how I came about having to, well, dealing with infertility and all that. Oh, oh, girl, you looking real foxy. <laughs> yeah, I'm being silly. Just gonna just, you know, just clean it up a little bit and sharpen it. Make sure y'all comment down below. Let me know, you guys, how your day's going. Are you guys surviving this pandemic? I know everything's been shut down and closed, but over here in Georgia, girl, ain't nothing shut down. Ain't nothing shut down. Ain't nobody sitting down. Ain't nobody. These folks is partying in the clubs and child. I ain't got time for it. I need enough party in the club. Man. For now, I can sit down and be still. I just want everybody to be safe out there. Y'all stay safe. My Fit Me Press Powder. This is the um, Loose Powder in D35. I just don't like the dryness under my eyes like that. So I don't bake. I put it on lightly and then I'll go back and brush it away. I can't wait till the Real Housewives of Atlanta comes on, guys. I've been waiting for that to come on. Have you guys gotten into the new one, the um, Utah one? Man, those girls on there are, woo. She married her grandmother's husband. How do you marry your grandmother's husband, which is your step granddaddy? She said her, <laughs> <laughs> so she said she said her grandmother wanted her to marry her husband when she died. Y'all, that, that's some creepy ass stuff. Oops, I ain't mean to cuss, but that's creepy. Like why? Uh oh, that's uh oh, that's nasty. How you gonna marry your your granddaddy, girl? Mm -mm. So I'm using the Fit Me Poreless Powder. And this is mocha. I'm just gonna go in and powder my face, contour my face, and I'm going back in with my CoverGirl. And also, y'all, I'm trying to do better at taking care of my hair. Right now, I gotta just slick back in this bun because I had it all pressed out. I'm having a problem with getting my hair straight. I don't know if it's that my hair just need to be trained or it's just damaged. And I'm starting to think it's just damaged because I have a lot of like little knots, just a bunch of like knots on my ends. Like these tiny little knots on my ends. And you know, I clip my ends and it's just like, my hair is just not straight. So I don't know if I need to just cut my hair all off and start over but I'm gonna try to straighten my hair out again and see what happens. I think I'm gonna work on trying to get my hair a whole lot healthier than what it is because I would like to wear my natural hair, but it just don't do right. It don't do right. I'm gonna make up me some rice water and try that out. So I'm using this highlight from also Tarte. It's the Don't Quit Your Daydream. And I'm using this little highlight. But yeah, I'm gonna work on, you know, taking better care of my hair. And I know a lot of those knots probably came from which I do my crochet hairstyles. I'm gonna also go in that highlight and highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I'm using this um, Ruby Kisses 
spicy brown my all-time favorite lipstick girl i've been loving this lipstick i'm really really been trying my hardest not to cut my hair off again and slap a perm in it i really do want me like a little short cut so i can just get up and go which actually not the case when we have short hair it's it's still just as much work because you have to wash it more frequently you have to you know perm it more frequently if you got a perm All right so i got that on but i'm gonna um soften it up just a little bit it's called remy robes i actually got this from dollar tree guys and it's emily is the name of this and i like this this is like a little pink a soft little pink and i just like to put it right in the middle and it just softens it up mascara from maybelline i like this this is something new i picked up snap mascara girl so i'm just gonna pack my mascara on i don't wear false lashes i know that's one thing this year i was gonna have me a little business going on with my false lashes because i had got my certificate in doing individual lashes and i was doing those lash extensions you know this pandemic hit and i was scammed i never received my inventory for my business but i um had to put a claim out on this company on alibaba who scammed me out of my money so i was able to get my money back but it just discouraged me so now i'm like i don't know if i want to sell lashes anymore i think i want to do something more so on what i like and i think that was like a sign too as well because i like the lashes i like doing the lashes but i don't think that's something that i love and i enjoy and i told myself the next thing i do it needs to be something i um somewhat enjoy or do like i don't wear false lashes i try to get into them and i don't think i'm going to because i have i feel like my lashes are decent and um they are too curly for me to be trying to put on those false lashes i want to start a business like a jewelry business like i had one i had started out, i was making jewelry that was like a long time ago way before i even did youtube i was making like belly chains and you know necklaces and things like that and i was enjoying that but i don't have the time to make anything so i've been looking into sampling some different little jewelry pieces these earrings are earrings that i'm sampling from a vendor they are really cute and also this little necklace really nice dainty that's what i've been working on lately trying to you know come up with a name logo and things like that i want to highlight my inner corners right here just to brighten up just a little bit i'm going to finish up my brows with this little clear brow gel Ooh, she cute i think this is the finished look what do you guys think all right guys i hope you enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me i enjoyed sitting down talking with you guys i hope you like this makeup look as well and if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe like i mentioned if you're not subscribed and turn on that post notification bell and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye